Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome here. This is the Food Science and Human Nutrition panel discussion as part of Open Day 2020. We hope you've enjoyed the day so far. Um, some of you have probably just come off our earlier talk where um, the two programme directors were discussing the Food Science and the Human Nutrition programme. So now we're delighted to move on and we have the panel discussion. Um, my name is Valerie Abbott. I work with the School of Agriculture and Food Science. And I'm joined here now today by three final year students from the Food Science and Human Nutrition programmes. I have Ethna Murray, Eve, Evan Stevenson and Alexandra Menjenska. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Alexandra. So um, we'll be here for about 20 minutes and we might just talk through with the three of our final year students. We'll just chat through their experiences of why they chose these programs, what encouraged them to choose the programs, what was their thinking when they were sitting there leaving cert, um, and maybe their experience in UCD so far. So thank you very much everyone for joining me today. Um, Ethna, we might start with you if that's okay. So Ethna is a final year food science student. So Ethna, maybe if we just start with um, why you chose food science, maybe if you take us back to um, when you were in school, maybe what subjects you like, or you know, did you always know you wanted to do food science, or how you ended up in UCD and how you ended up in the food science program? Yeah, so um, home ec was my favourite subject in school, and then I also really enjoyed my option subjects of biology and agricultural science. So food science for me was kind of a natural progression because it's a combination of these areas. Perfect. And did you know? Did you know? I suppose, what food science was, or did you know that you wanted to study food science? Or was it a case that you were looking at the subjects you liked, looked at the programmes, and it took you, it led from there? Um, I didn't know that I always wanted to study food science, but in the end, I did put it first on my CAO, so I was delighted to get it. Um, I think for me, what interested me was the broad range of career prospects after graduating. Um, you're not tying yourself into one job. There's lots of different opportunities. So I really that it really interested me perfect great and maybe um just i suppose when you when you started in ucd then for a lot of people a lot of people think ucd is is, is really large and it's a really large university when you when you joined ucd and you started the food science program how how did you find ucd when you arrived and you know what was your your welcome like and your orientation like um, well, we were split up into peer mentor groups and then our peer mentor gave us a tour of campus and it seems really big and daunting at first but you would be surprised about how quickly it becomes familiar, especially because in first year most of your lectures are in the same building so they're, they're mostly in the science building. Um, I guess it was quite a difference going from a classroom of 30 students to a lecture hall of 300 but um, it was really exciting. Okay, and maybe um, in, in first year, um, what kind of subjects would you study to, you know, to give somebody an idea if they're, if they're going to join the course next year? Maybe what kind of subjects they, they study in first year, but then as you go through the years, how does that evolve and change? Yes, yeah, so I suppose first year gives you a very broad um, overview of the core science subjects. So you do maths, physics, chemistry, biology, but like re relative to agriculture. And then um, in second and third year, um, you take modules like food chemistry, food physics, food microbiology, sensory analysis, product development, um, human nutrition. And then in final year, I'm now studying, it's kind of come full circle and I'm now doing um, milk and dairy products, fresh and processed meat products, um, supply chain, and I'm also doing a final year research project. And you're enjoying it. Yeah. And um, if I just take you back um, to, to first year, you said there's a, there's a number of science subjects. You said you studied ag agricultural science in secondary school. Did you study any other um, science subjects? Yeah, um, biology as well. Oh, you did, yeah, yeah. So I suppose just to, to a lot of questions that we would often get asked is about the what science subjects do I need? Um, and we always say to people, you know, well, the requirement, the minimum requirement is one science subject but that science in first year is taught at a basic level across all the sciences. So I don't know if you have any comments on that, perhaps maybe for the other subjects they study, but I think, you know, first year gives everyone a level playing field so that nobody feels sort of left behind in any subject. Yeah, definitely. Um, everyone comes in having studied a different science subject at Leaving Cert, so you really just take them all from introductory level. 
So yeah, there's no need to worry about that. Great. And you mentioned then um, the third year. I know um, you travelled abroad. So one of the great opportunities in the food science programme is that in third year for the first semester, you have an opportunity if you wish to travel abroad. And you last year went to Queen's University, Queensland, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I had never lived away from home for longer than a month before. And then I moved to the other side of the world. So it was a crazy experience, but um, it was incredible. Um, and I would definitely recommend it um, because, you know, compared to a J1 working holiday, you really get to experience living in a country and immersing yourself in that culture. Because, you know, when you attend a university, you can join all the clubs and societies and meet lots of people that way. And employers love to see it as well because it really shows that you put yourself out of your comfort zone um, and enjoy new experiences like that. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose we spoke about it earlier today, but food, food and the food industry is so global. So I think getting some global yeah. experience and traveling globally can only be a plus. And did many people in your class travel abroad? Um, um, I think it was about 15 out of 40 okay. of us. So yeah, there are a number of options um, in America and then just the one in Australia and one in New Zealand. Yeah, there's 13 partner universities actually. So there's lots of, there's lots of opportunities. That's great. Um, and then I suppose just outside the classroom, is there any, um, is there, was there any areas in UCD that you, you got involved in? I think, you know, it's not all about the, the classroom and the learning. Is there anything? Yeah, definitely. Um, in first year, I traveled to Uganda with UCD volunteer overseas. Um, so I loved that experience. Um, it was kind of a year long development education program. So it involved training days and then the project overseas in Uganda. And then I also joined the windsurfing club. So um, this year is my second year on the committee. And um, so I've really enjoyed being part of that and going on the trips and um, uh, the socials and the training sessions. And then I also uh, play social basketball. All right. Okay, great. So there is lots. I think it's a, it's, it's a really positive part of your people's experience of UCD is the amount of clubs and societies that there is. And it is, it is a very you know, it is a very important part of your of the university experience, I think, and it does it does add to the experience of all the students. Certainly yeah. what we hear anyway from people a lot. Thank you very much. Evan, we might say hello to you next. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. So Evan is a final year human nutrition student. And um, so again, Evan, we might just by way of introducing yourself. Just, you know, give us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and how and why you chose human nutrition and UCD. Yeah, so I'm from Baltic Glass County Wicklow. Um, so I suppose I chose human nutrition because at the time of the CEO, anyway, I was most interested in nutrition out of anything else. I kind of got into nutrition through playing rugby and stuff. And you just kind of you get uh, interested in the sports nutrition side of it. And then as an extension, then I kind of got more interested in just the general health side. So that's, that's kind of why I picked human nutrition. Perfect. And you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 It's uh, um, quite interesting. Perfect. And um, would you maybe just for anybody watching who didn't talk to the, the, who didn't join the talk earlier, could you give us in two sentences, maybe the difference between food science and human nutrition? Because um, I know a lot of people, you know, maybe watching today might not fully under understand sort of what, what the core differences are. Yeah, I suppose the main differences would probably be that food science would kind of look more at the processing kind of side of food and and industry, whereas nutrition would kind of look at more of the, the health side of it for like nutritionists and dietitians, that sort of a thing. Perfect. Um, and then maybe just describe or tell us, I suppose, talk us through the, the four years. So the human nutrition is a four year program. So maybe just talk us really briefly through the four years, you know, kind of your first year to fourth year and some of the highlights of the program. And the subject yeah, so first talk, year you know, is... The, sorry, go on. <laughs> yes, so first year is kind of, an introduction to, to science is similar to, to food science in first year, actually. And you do get a, a small taste of uh, some more nutrition-based subjects as well. But then kind of as you move up through the years, then it gets a little more into nutrition-specific uh, modules like metabolism and uh, 
human nutrition methodologies and stuff like this. And in third year, then you have a, a full 10 months of uh, professional work experience. Um, so that's usually quite good for kind of figuring out what, what you want to do after. Um, I did mine in, in Nutritics in, in Swords, which is kind of like a, a food analysis software company. And it's, it gives you a great insight because you can kind of go industry route or, or more towards the clinical side when you're doing uh, human nutrition. And uh, at the time, I kind of thought I was more in, industry uh, orientated, but after that, then you're not so sure. So it's, it's great for, for kind of setting up what you want to do after college. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great uh, point to bring up. And I think, I think everybody might agree that's on here today. But I mean, we would often speak to people who, like, you know, anybody who's watching today and they're, they're interested maybe in human nutrition or nutrition, but they're like, I don't know what I want to do when I'm finished. And much like yourself even said, the, the PWE, it's a 10-month placement in third year, but it really gives people an opportunity to explore what they might like to do. Um, and I think Alexandra mentioned something earlier that we might talk about in a few minutes. But even when you do your PWE, perhaps you enjoy it or you think that's what I want to do or that's not what I want to do. But it's a great experience for people and it gets people out in the industry. And often for students, it's the first time where they really get a sense of what they want to do. You know, they find or they discover something completely new. And it's, you know, you, I suppose your work with the, the PWE placement take place with really great companies you know the, the the main companies out there the big employers and it's a huge experience and a huge exposure um for everybody um, and i think it's quite unique as well that it's a 10-1 placement so you know it's it's a really um it's a, it's a really important part of the program um can i just ask you i suppose if people um are interested in sort of they're interested in the science side of it in the labs is there much lab work or much science you know experiments that kind of um, involved within the program yeah um so in first and second year you have maybe maybe two labs a week week i would say on average um so they're kind of either two or three hour labs and you kind of get a good grasp of how to use all the equipment and stuff like that they're not uh, unbelievably difficult or anything like that so i won't be too worried but um, I don't think there's any labs in fourth year at all. But, uh, so. yeah. Great. And um, you mentioned, I suppose, that people can, can, can go in, in different directions. And you mentioned sport. I mean, people, people with an interest in sport can specialise afterwards and go on and become sports nutritionists. And then, you know, other people, I suppose, are interested in maybe um, going down the road of public health and community health. And then, as you said, there's, there's the option then of sort of research and the academic side of it. So there are the different, some of the different routes that people go, go down. Um, uh, so now we might move on. So uh, thank you very much, Evan. So Alexander, we might move on to you now and then we might come back and have a kind of a brief chat with everybody then. Alexander, you're a final year human nutrition student as well. Hello and thank you for joining us. No problem. Um, again, I think the same question as to Ethna and Evan. Maybe, you know, why you chose human nutrition and um, how you ended up in UCD studying human nutrition. Did you always know you wanted to do human nutrition or? Yeah, so similar to Edna, I studied home ec in school um, and I did that with biology. And so they kind of tie in with each other, I guess, in a way. Um, and I was in sixth year and it was the time of filling out CEO and stuff. And I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but home ec was my favorite subject. I was like, I'd like to continue studying it at some capacity. But I, honestly, I just didn't really know about even the nutrition course. It wasn't until my home ec teacher said, oh, there is this course in UCD. You know, you can go and have a look at it and stuff. So um, it was more um, school that kind of pushed me towards studying nutrition at a third third level. Um, so, yeah, I just applied and glad I did. Anyways, it was my first choice. So I got it. Um, and then, yeah, food science, I guess, was on the cards as well. But it was that was more of like Evan uh, mentioned, like a food processing um, course as opposed to learning about nutrition um, by itself. Okay. So I suppose, like we mentioned earlier, you didn't one hundred percent know what you wanted to do, and maybe it's the subjects that you were enjoying and that drove you to your decision. And I think that's probably a good reference for people who are considering their options. You know, you, you might not know what you want to, to do all the way through, but if you look at the subjects you like and think of the jobs you might like to be involved 
of you know of a, of a guide for somebody at the moment yeah again like I didn't really know what a nutritionist does <laughs> even entering, yeah. even entering the course in first year um, and going through the very basic sciences like the biology the chemistry the physics uh, you don't really get that much of an insight until PWE and final year um, so it is a bit of a learning curve but uh, you definitely do kind of find your find your passion within nutrition and uh, you know you kind of get to decide then afterwards uh, yeah. what you'd like to pursue further and on Eth, I suppose when we were talking to Ethna, we, we mentioned when you arrive in UCD, you know, people maybe you, the transition from school to UCD, you know, school is much smaller. You have your teachers, smaller classes and you go to UCD. There is a good orientation, but um, maybe just access to the staff and the lecturers. I think it's a nice point to mention that while UCD is this, you know, wonderful big campus, um, when you drill down into your classes and your lectures like you, there's good access I think to your lectures and there's good support there or maybe yes, <laughs> you might tell me <laughs> the nutrition class is actually quite small I think there's only 28 of us and um, so it's a nice size that when we do have classes together it is quite um like a concentrated contact with um, the lectures and the tutors and stuff like that and uh, even the bigger classes that we would have had two to three hundred people in the lecture hall, they would have always been diluted down into tutorials. So we would have had, if you didn't have direct access with the lecturer, you would have had direct access with what would have been like a class like situation. And most tutorials would have only been between five and 15 people in the class. Like there, they really wouldn't have been more than that. So, um, yeah, I guess if you were struggling, there was always there someone to help. If not your classmates, then <laughs> on the staff. Yeah. Yeah, but it's nice. I think it's nice for people. So, sort of, you know, it's not as it's not all as daunting as it sounds. No, no, definitely not. And um, yeah, we did have most of our classes in around the same buildings um, and we'd always kind of move together anyway. So, you know, you wouldn't really be getting lost or anything like that. But you get used to campus really quickly. Yeah. And it's a lovely campus. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's fab. Yeah. 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 And did, did you get involved in any of the clubs and societies around campus as well? Um, so I'm currently the auditor for the Nutrition Society, um, which is obviously mainly made up of nutrition students. Um, so that's been set up, that was set up in 2016. And it's just been, so it's a relatively new society. Um, so that would just kind of incorporate things to do with food and nutrition. So it would kind of historically run talks on nutrition and um, you might have like kind of food days. Like uh, in the past, we've done things like bring in like a pizza pizza party and stuff like that or like smoothie mornings and breakfast mornings and all this kind of stuff like usually they'd be held on campus and there'd be quite a large participation rate and you get to new, meet new people there and stuff like that. It's great and, and you, you, you engage with the whole of the university then for that so it's not just your own class it's sort of a... Yeah so anybody can join the society uh, for many year and even this year we had masters and PhD students um, on the in the membership so it's everybody yeah okay oh, and you're the auditor so that's great that's a great achievement for this year <laughs> um, we might talk then about your your pwe as well so evan gave us a nice overview of his, of his um professional work experience and you completed yours last year as well where did you go so i went to denone um which is based in dean's grange i was working in the early life nutrition unit and um, so i was working on a care line most for most of the placement um, which would have been kind of chatting to mums about problems they would have had, um, any problems they would have had, sorry, to known as a infant formula uh, making processing company. So uh, most yeah. of Ireland's infant formula is produced by Danone and made in Ireland. And um, so any problems that they mums would have had would have rang the care line and then we would have chatted to them and then helped them out and stuff like that. So um, I guess it was, I also did some marketing for them. So it was like a real nice round experience about kind of what nutrition industry is about um, and that was really nice for me because it really shaped my future goals and kind of like what I wanted to do so now I'm looking at pursuing a, a master's in business so uh, like food business so um, it's, yeah it, it really just kind of completed the consolidated my ideas about what I want to do in the future. Very good. So it reiterates the point I was saying earlier that, you know, the, the PWE experience for a lot of people is where you sort of decide maybe what you what you want to or you, the first time you start to see what you might like to do when you when you finish. You probably didn't think at all when 
when you went in to study human nutrition that you would be looking at the business end of it. No, originally when I went in, um, in first year, I would have kind of thought, oh, I'll do dietetics afterwards. And, you know, that was the kind of, not only path, but that would have been a, a very clear progression. Um, and a lot of people will go on to do that, of course. Um, but I'd say a number of us will stay, whether it, working in research or industry. So um, there are lots of options. It isn't just, uh, you know, you do nutrition and then you have to do dietetics. Like there, there's loads of options to do, um, kind of similar to the food science. It really isn't, um, you know, a be all and end all. Like it is a really nice, it's still a Bachelor of Science, a really nice kind of groundwork um with a specialization I guess yeah I think I think all of the, the the degree programs are very broad and they're not you know they, they give people a lot of opportunity I don't know Ethna or Evan if you want to comment on that but I think they're very broad and I think you know there's many many opportunities when people leave and you're certainly not kind of funneled into one particular job or one particular area there's so many opportunities I don't know if you want to even comment on this perhaps even within your class I mean the range of ideas or opportunities that people are looking at when they when they finish yeah well um food science students would mainly go into research and development or quality um the departments in companies but mm -hmm. there is also the masters in smurfit and food business strategy if you wanted to go down more the business end of it um but yeah i'm looking at doing grad programs um my first choice would probably be research and development, so product development and formulation, yeah. formulations and things. Perfect, and you're looking at that now. And I suppose um, the, there is quite a bit of support as well within the school, I think, isn't there, you know, with the information on the graduate programmes and the career centre. So in final year, the, 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 the school does um, support the students and make you aware with the information because there's a lot of opportunities out there and there is there is a lot of interest from the companies in the, in the final year students. Yeah, there's um like grad fairs and um, uh, UCD careers as well. So there's lots of information available to us. Yeah, and the UCD careers day is held actually will be held in February, and that's typically one of the biggest um, careers day on campus. And it's the agriculture, food, and nutrition, and there's there's typically fifty roughly fifty exhibitors there and they're there to speak to final year students so that they are in demand and um, Evan we, we might just ask you a little bit if I just go back and um, if perhaps yourself or you know some of your classmates did anybody um move to Dublin or you know move away from home was there anything there that people would comment on that you know it's it's a it's a, just traveling to UCD and that kind of experience for people yeah so I actually moved up myself um it would have been kind of an hour and a half or two hours with rush hour in the morning. So I decided to make the move and um, I was actually able to move up to a house with uh, two other people I went to school with. Um, so I had a nice little introduction into it. Um, but a few of my friends would have just moved on to campus. There's lots of on campus accommodation for first years and it's quite uh it's quite nice with like first years uh, interact with each other quite a lot. Like it's very easy to make friends on campus and stuff. Yeah. It's probably easier to make friends on campus than it is off campus. But um, yeah, what I didn't find any issue with moving up because I, had, I actually went to a boarding school. So uh, it wasn't, it didn't phase me much at all. But um, anyone that I know that, that didn't go to boarding school doesn't seem to have an issue with it too. Like you kind of get used to it after a month or so and, and it, it's, it's, it's great fun. Like, you know, you can, you can kind of do what you like and <laughs> yeah. it's a nice bit of independence and stuff. So, okay. So we're coming up on time. So maybe I might ask everyone before we finish up, um, what your highlights are, what's your highlights so far from your time in UCD and perhaps as well, if, um, somebody is watching here today and they're thinking about studying food science or thinking about studying human nutrition and they're a little bit unsure, um, maybe a little piece of advice and then we can leave it there. Ethna, we start with you. Sure. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend the food science course. And um, if you're not set on, you know, becoming a, like a doctor or a lawyer or something specific, then it's definitely, um, it's definitely a good thing to pick a course that is kind of broad, that will keep your options open. And I would say a highlight, um, for me would be 
you know, back in first year when we did have those broad modules, you really got a chance to meet and make friends with people on other courses. So some of my best friends today are in ag science and, you know, not just in food science. And then also, you know, the chance to study abroad and the work placement for 16 weeks and um, then, you know, the research project that I'm currently undertaking as well. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities and it's very practical course. Um, and yeah, I would pick it again if I was back in sixth year. So I hope that Great. <laughs> Great. Evan? Yeah, I, I'd be quite similar. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. And it's probably, the, uh, the, as Edna said there, the highlight is probably the friends you make. And then you kind of just enjoy your time there when you make friends. And certainly don't be, uh, don't be shy anyway. Um, like, because I kind of came with friends that were in ag science. So it was quite easy to, because in first year, you kind of have a lot of lectures with ag science students. So it was quite easy to, to not uh, interact too much with my own course. But um, once you do kind of take the leap, then you, you won't regret it. And you'll have a lot of fun making new friends and stuff. So, um, and yeah, I would definitely, I would be the same. I would do nutrition again. I can't think of anything else I'd, I'd rather do. So uh, yeah, very happy with my decision. Great. And Alexander? Um, I suppose a piece of advice that I would have if you are doing nutrition is just to get involved in like absolutely everything um, that UCD has to offer because it is the best and easiest way to meet new people and make loads of friends. And, you know, I like, like I said, nutrition is quite small. So kind of involving yourself in societies and sport and kind of ongoing campus activities, um, you will have a really good time. Um, and yeah, the highlights for me were definitely placement and just because of the real life experience and made friends there and like there was other girls and guys <laughs> that were also on placement. So you aren't alone, like you aren't just uh, thrown into an office of, you know, people you don't really know what you're doing. We were kind of uh, had a little group going and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, the research project should be good. To, uh, hopefully good standard <laughs> well, that's great i think everybody has a positive a positive experience so far which is great so thank you everybody who has watched us here today we hope you found it, this helpful and um, we're supposed to give you a sense of the student experience of the programs mm -hmm.